What about temperature profile? Normally, if there is one single component in this system, temperature profile is supposed to be linear. Out here, temperature is high. Down there, temperature is low. In between, supposed to be linear concentration profile. There will be linear like this. This is low temperature. This is high temperature. But in this case, since A moves from the right to the left, there will be energy that's A carried. Such kind of energy transport by molecular transport would give the energy, the temperature profile to be nonlinear. Okay? So this is T. T is function of Y. And the top one is concentration XA as a function of Y. Okay? So in this problem, you have mass and energy transport at the same time. That means you need to solve equation of energy and equation of continuity at the same time. But of course we cannot do that because of the complication of the system, of the equation itself. So we need to choose to solve one particular equation first. Which one would you choose to solve first? We will normally choose to, to solve the one that is unaffected first, right? The one that is affected by the presence of the other is supposed to be solved later. In this, does mass transport is affected by temperature transport or energy transport? Not so much. Does Temperature, uh, that does energy transport is affected by mass transport? Yes, according to that equation that we just solved. So therefore, we're supposed to solve mass transport first, okay? For mass transport, I'm going to start with equation of continuity, but this time for BCA. Equation of continuity in species for one particular species can be chosen from several type or several kinds of equation. We derived that last week. One of it is this form. Remember, equation of continuity of one particular species, you have two bases, mass basis or molar basis, okay? We, we would normally prefer mol molar basis, particularly in this case. Why? Because in our equation of combined energy flux, E here is written as function of capital N. Capital N is molar flux, right? So it is better to use molar basis. For equation for molar basis, you have, um, really you have two form. One form is written in this, in the function of combined flux. The other form is written in function of velocity. There are two form. In this case, we do not know velocity because we cannot say that velocity of the mixture is zero. If you look into the picture here, molecule of A supposed to go to the left-hand side because right here concentration is lower. So therefore, there will be diffusion from the right to the left, okay? Is there any convection? Is there any force flow? There is no force flow. Does it mean 
we do not have convection. No, in this case, convection means the convection would go in the direction where average velocity would go. In this case, average velocity may not be zero. Okay? So it may not be zero. In, in, indeed, it is not zero because A itself moves from right to left. B, does B move? From here, can you determine the flux of V and B? And B here equal to what? If you're not sure about N B, let's start with this continuity equation in this form because we do not know velocity yet. So therefore, we cannot use equation of continuity in form of velocity. So we would prefer in form of net flux. Also because net flux will be later used in the equation of energy, all right? Del itself in rectangular coordinate, it is dNA x by dx plus dNA y by dy plus dNA z by dz. All right? We do not consider x and z direction in this case, assuming that the wall is so large in both x and z. So this term turns to be zero. There is no reaction taking place, so R turns to be zero, no reaction. For steady state, this turn to be zero. At the end, you will have dNAY by dy equal to zero. If you repeat the same thing for species B, this is equation of continuity for species B, okay? At steady state, this turn to be zero. We do not consider x and z direction. There is no reaction for B species. So you will have D and B y by D y equal to zero. That would give you constant flux of B, okay? So N B Y is constant, constant to what? If you look back to the picture, picture here, we now know that N B is constant in Y direction. Normally we say that A diffuse from right to left, that means B should supposed to diffuse from left to right, right? But NB is not diffusion flux, this is combined flux. The combined flux here is supposed to be here, zero. Why? Why it is zero? If you take overall balance, If you take overall balance of the system here, remember our system is supposed to be one phase. As long as we can assume that our liquid here is saturated with air already, so air will no longer dissolve into liquid. Liquid cannot generate air as well. So flux of B going into liquid here or going out of the liquid here, NB at y equal to zero, supposed to be zero. Since it is zero and it is constant, it will be zero everywhere, 
Okay? So NB is 0. Then this equation is equivalent to shell balance. After that, you must use this, you still have to use the same equation you used in the earlier chapters. For mass, it is different from the momentum and energy. If you recall, in momentum and in energy, we can set up one single equation as function of velocity or function of temperature, and then you can start dropping term, right? You don't need to use combined flux anymore when you use equation of motion or equation of energy. But in mass, even though you start with equation of continuity, sometimes you may still have to set up equation like this, okay? Now NB is zero, according to that. Then you can take this part to the left-hand side and rearrange equation, which should give you CA DAB, one minus XA, DXA by DY. And then plug it back to resolve from that equation. This kind of differential equation, you have seen it before. So I'm not going through this anymore. As a result of integration, you get one minus xa equal to k1 power y times k2. Okay, there are two variables, so we will need two boundary conditions. First, at y equal to zero. Let's call the xa to be xa zero. And then at y equal to delta, let's call it xa equal to xa delta. Remember, these two concentrations are concentration of A in vapor phase, not in liquid. 